I'm Robert with Nomium, and we're looking at the whiteboard on Zoom, as well as a third-party whiteboard by Mural.co. We can bring in any third-party platform and share that with our users. But first, let's see what Zoom has built in. If you're the host or the co-host, you can share your screen. And if you're a guest that's been given permission, you can share your screen, and you can find that in your Zoom toolbar. When we go to share screen, we'll choose the whiteboard. And this whiteboard becomes shared with all of the users in your meeting. Note, they can see the whiteboard itself. They cannot see my entire screen, my background, and they cannot see my personal toolbar. As the host, where it says stop share, for the guest, that will say view options. And that's where they can open their annotation toolbar, which looks like this. At this point, any guest is welcome to start typing. Anybody can draw, which this works very well if you have an Excel file, if you have a, a PowerPoint, a slide, and you're collaborating on that, people can draw over it, and they can mark things that they like, or they can mark things that they don't like. It's a very simple feature, and it allows us to save it as well. Just be aware, if you're saving collaborations, make sure the participants know how that might be used in the future. We can stop sharing at any time. And now I'd like to show you a third party whiteboard that gives us more functionality. This is by mural.co. What I'd like to do is I'll move this over. And this is just my Chrome browser and I've created a blank canvas. Now, my participants can't see this right now, so I'm going to go to my share options. And instead of inviting people where they would need to log in, I'm going to choose that anonymous link. I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to go back to my Zoom window, open that chat box, and send that out to everyone. And they can click on that link and they can open the mural whiteboard. Now, as my guests open this mural whiteboard, they can find their different text options. They can find many different font options. They can add and edit links. They can use sticky notes, which is great if they would like to clutter up the canvas. Moving these things around and typing within any of these spaces. Now, you'll notice that we have a great Zoom feature. This whiteboard is huge. So if you have 25 participants and you want people to use different sections or different areas, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, and we can also create different grids if we would like to create spaces for group one, group two, group three, group four. There's a lot of different tools. It's fun to play around with these. You can upload images, you can upload icons, and it just gives us a bit more functionality than we would see in the traditional Zoom whiteboard. If you have any questions, as always, we would love to hear from you.